Welcome and congratulations on being a top 25 leading woman. We are so excited to have you here with us today. Thank you. Let's tell our viewers who you are and what company you Sure. Start. I'm Ann Thornton from MSI Plumbing and Remodeling. We're located um, in Lebanon, New Jersey. Not far from here. So plumbing and remodeling. Yeah. Tell us the backstory on that. How did you get involved in that industry? Well, my background is I'm a teacher. I was a teacher and a counselor. And I needed a new life, so I moved to New York City in 1983. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty exciting. And um, I, I met a man um, who was an executive with uh, the telephone company that I was working with. And he had a property management company that he had started on the side because condos were brand new. Mm. Think about it, the yeah. early 80s, right? Yeah. And we fell in love, blah, 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 you know, got married, and I moved out here. And we started, I went, came into the business with him, and it was he and I, and one part-time employee. And so we started in property management, which we still do. And he, um, my husband and partner runs that company. We have mm -hmm. a separate company, so that's his job. We work together, but we have separate companies, so that's a good thing. And then, you know, when you do property management, eventually you need to hire a contractor. And it's hard to find somebody just to come and fix one little thing. So we hired our first part-time guy, you know, and then you hire another guy. And then all of a sudden you find yourself providing maintenance to condo associations. And then somebody says, do you guys do bathrooms? And, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, what's the answer? Well, of course we do, right. even if you've never done one. <laughs> and, and we've just grown it over 30 years. And then we added licensed plumbing. And... Now we have 25 employees and we do full-blown remodeling, um, everything from just fixing your faucet to building you a brand new kitchen. Wonderful. So it's awesome. I like the evolution. Of yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It's kind of the, yeah. the natural path for, for many of us, right? Yes. Just and you know, on. because we, it was a family, is a family business, um, we kept our business small when our children were small because they were, it was more important to us to have time. Right. We were older parents and time was more important than money and prestige and everything else. And um, so we've, we kept it small for a long time. And then when the kids grow up and go away, it's like, mm, back okay, in business. Let's back in business. Oh, so we've really great. grown the last, say, eight years or so. Okay, so let's shift, because a part of the program here um, for Leading Women Entrepreneurs is the importance of advocating for women and community involvement. What organizations are you passionate about? Well, the first would be the Huntington County um, Chamber of Commerce Women's Business Forum, mm -hmm. which I founded years ago with a couple of uh, other women, over 20 years ago. Oh. And it's a gr it's morphed into different things over the years. And um, it's, a, it's a great group that provides training and networking, et cetera, for women out here in Huntington where, where I am. Okay. Yeah. And then the second thing is a nonprofit that my husband and I started 17 years ago called Hunters Helping the Hungry. Mm -hmm. Again, we're out here in Hunterdon where it's very rural and uh, a lot of people hunt out here. And this group is amazing. Over 17 years, we have fed over 1.5 million meals to New Jersey's hungriest people, families, through the, all the different food banks. Mm -hmm. um, the state got involved um, as we progressed. To So some money comes back from the state, but we raise money. The butchers, um, the licensed butchers, they uh, butcher the meat at a reduced rate when they know it's going into the Hunters Helping the Hungry program. Mm. And so it's a fantastic program. Hunters donate the, the, the harvest of the deer because a lot of times they like to hunt, but they don't want four deer. Yeah. You know, they only want one. And so they can bring the donated deer to the authorized butcher and it gets into the food system. And Beautiful. it's a, such a, I mean, you know, protein in meat is really needed um, in poor families. And, you know, you can find yourself uprooted and homeless and in dire right. straits overnight um, anywhere in the country. Well, and I think so, that you're really on the path of just that whole blessing of being an entrepreneur and continuing to innovate. And it's beautiful to see that you've carried that into your nonprofit world. And I'm definitely going to look into that. Yeah, I do. It's a great organization, HuntersHelpingTheHungry.org. Great. And yeah. so our theme this year is celebrating the unstoppable. What makes you unstoppable? I would say that I'm just driven. I, I just always see the the possibilities. Even in my, you know, it's like, can we do this? Okay, can we do that? Right. I mean, I see the possibilities and I'm, I try to keep myself aware of lots of different areas yeah. in the world, not just business, because then I, it just makes me think of new things. So my staff is always like, oh my God, they're going on vacation when they get back. What are they gonna, <laughs> what, what's the new thing they're gonna do? But I think that's what makes me unstoppable, and my business unstoppable, un unstoppable. Right, is that we just we see the the you know the possibilities, and maybe when you're in the remodeling business like I am, 
that's our business right, is you have to, to give you the, right, the vision of what you want. So for us, you know, we try to live that every day. Well, clearly you are. I applaud you for being such a visionary person. Thank you. And we can't wait to celebrate you on November 14th. Me too. I'm very so excited. Congratulations. Thank you, Linda. On your, all of your success, and we'll see you at the Liberty House. Okay. All right.